A Channel 5 investigation right off the top. A gun shop is closed, but trouble just now starting for a former employee. The accused also a longtime Valley cop, and today he saw a judge. Here's Valerie Gonzalez. Federal agents are claiming the defendant was selling weapons without recording the sales. The man charged in this crime is familiar with the law. He served with one Valley law enforcement agency up until less than a month before his arrest. Channel 5 viewers may recognize the defendant. Not too long ago, he gave us an interview on a topic that may seem even more relevant today. In late October, we were taking a look at the arsenal of cartels seized by Tamaulipas law enforcement to give us a better understanding of the damage caused by M2s, hand grenades, or an RPG launcher. We spoke to Jose Cruz. At the time, he was working as manager of the gun rack in McAllen. 50 Barrett uh, caliber uh, sniper rifle. A few weeks after this interview, ATF agents visited Cruz. According to the federal criminal complaint, Cruz told those agents he falsely wrote a customer purchased two weapons on a form when he only bought one. Then, Cruz took the second rifle and sold it to someone else. That was November 13. Just five days after he was relieved from his duties at the Hidalgo County Constable's Office, Precinct 3. But as soon as we got the information that may, he may be investigated for possible, or possibly because of firearms trade or something, uh, we immediately terminated him as our reserve deputy. Constable Larry Gallardo employed him as a reserve officer, an unpaid position where commissioned peace officers assist deputies. Cruz started working there in August of 2015, and he was hired, at least in part, due to his record. Outstanding individual, as far as law enforcement is concerned, many, he's received numerous awards, you know. And According to his personnel file kept by the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, he spent 22 years as a peace officer with over 1,600 hours of training in Texas. He worked in the police departments of Hidalgo, Palmview, and Mission until he resigned to start a business in 2012. Up until then, Cruz received accolades and praise, although one 2010 report noted he had trouble with filing reports. Today, he went before a judge. Cruz says he is not guilty of selling 38 rifles and a pistol without keeping required records and for trying to smuggle six rifles from the U.S. from 2018 to 2019. The gun rack, his last place of employment, now with strip signage and shuttered windows, appears closed for good. This is a form that Cruz reportedly falsified, and it's not that hard to do. Tomorrow on Channel 5 News at 10, we hear how easy it is to do, but also how it can just as easily lead to an investigation. In the studio of Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.